Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jay Frosty. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. What is the best settings to have in Modern Warfare 2? Well, I'm going to show y'all what to do, baby. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. You know what I'm saying? We're on PC rocking the controller, but I got you guys. So obviously aiming input device controller. That's what we rocking with. I don't recommend flipping that one and R1 for shooting. It's not a vibe. Your button layout, you got to have that on tactical. Even if you're rocking with the scuff, it just makes sense to do. Um, stick layout uh, default. You don't want any of these. That's crazy. I mean, I don't know why anybody would want that. Controller vibration. I have it on. Some people like it off because it messes up their aiming. I prefer it on. Trigger effect off. We don't need none of that. Eight and four seems like the vibe for me on a uh, horizontal and vertical sensitivity. ADS sensitivity multiplier. Just keep that at one. Vertical aim axis. Don't worry about it. Sensitivity multiplier. Don't worry about it. Uh, if you go to the advanced tab, your aim assist type needs to be black odds, baby. That's glue on the sticks, all right? Your aim response curve type, dynamic. That's aimbot, all right? That's legit legal aimbot right there. Your ADS sensitivity transition timing, instant. Don't be a bitch. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, that's input dead zones. I mean, just keep it like this. Um, that kind of seems like to be the best that works for me. Your left trigger, you could put that down, honestly, a little bit on the right trigger. So whenever you shoot, um, it'll happen. It'll just happen immediately. You know what I mean? So that that actually might be the vibe. Um, I'm gonna put that on point ten, a little bit lower. But uh, auto move forward, you don't want that movement behaviors. I mean, that's gonna help in Warzone, but for this, not really right now. So that's really what we're looking at, man. Aim assist type's the biggest thing. Aim response curve type. One more thing. If you go to graphics and if you go down to make sure you have your field of view at 120. Um, right here. Make sure you have your field of view at 120. ADS field of view. That's up to you, really. I don't know. I just got mine as affected. Um your first person camera movement, put that on least at 50%. That lowers the setting. If you lower this, it helps motion sickness whenever you're whenever you're moving around. It's just reduce motion blur at all costs. Um, third person point of view, don't field of view, don't matter. That's it, y'all. That's all we're gonna be rocking with. Um, get out there, baby. You all know what to do. If you want to increase this a little bit higher or lower, you definitely can. I just like having it fast. So if you get shot in the back in this game, the time to kill is really fast. But you know what I mean? If you pull it off, you pull it off. You know, a faster sensitivity will get you there. Um, goes all the way to 20, which is insane, like it says. Um, I'll probably gradually get higher on this as the game goes. Um, but the vertical is pretty important. I keep that low. You don't really want that high because that just troubleshoots your aiming. Um, but that's pretty much it, man. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys do, leave it a like. Spread it to other people. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.